<clears throat> Welcome back. So, I am going to go ahead and do a review for the Vampire's Tarot. The Tarot of Vampires by Ian Daniels. It's a Lillowin deck. So, I got my spread out here. Um, and it looks pretty cool on this mat. It stands out pretty good with the red. So, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, this is my typical 10 card spread. So, let's go ahead and I'll flip over. As I was shuffling, exactly 10 cards flew out of the deck. And I figured, well, that must mean something. So... Uh, ooh, okay. You know, this is my first time actually, uh, using the deck for reading because once I'm bonded to a deck, I'm sure if you're into cards like I am, you have a tendency to want to use that same deck, maybe one or two decks. So... <clears throat> As you can see, the depictions of these cards are pretty cool. Um, it's great art. Uh, the one thing I will say is these cards, this card stock is very flimsy. Um, beautiful images, very striking. Um, I have no complaint there, but the card stock is. You know, it's a bit flappy. The only thing I will say about flappy cards is they're very easy to shuffle. So if they're too thick and everything, then you have to do a side shuffle. So, you know, for me, I'm not going to be over here tripping about the thickness of a card. But uh, they did a really good job. A lot of these, you know, okay, so this is Seven of Scepters. So instead of having wands, cups etc. They have their own theme. Like this one is Ace of Skulls, Six of Knives instead of Swords, Seven of Grails, Scepters. And then a Major Arcana has done really well. They did take the time to uh, make the characters look really cool. Never been a real huge vampire fiend, but I I have a respect for mythological creatures and, uh, you know, in the magic world, they definitely exist. And we all know that uh, psychic vampirism is definitely real, so there is a certain affinity for vampirism. Anyway, uh, the other thing that's pretty cool is this book. I have to say they did a great job when it comes to um, giving very in-depth meanings for each card. And it's nice to have an actual book and not a miniature pamphlet where you're trying to squint and read microscopic reading. Um, you know, this is a pseudo-dark deck. It's got a woman stabbed in the chest on the cover, so it's... Probably not a deck for if you're squeamish, but it's not exactly horrifying either. I like the color schemes. They they didn't keep it too dark. They actually did throw a lot of color in there. Like, even looking at this card, Ace of Skulls. And of course, you know, I love the, uh, the upright pentagram. It's amazing. It never gets old. It's... Truly the symbol of the occult. So, uh, cards are, I would say, middle of the road. Book, excellent. Box, not bad art. Um, I just wish they would do a reproduction of this and maybe make it bigger cards. I don't see a lot of decks that are for big, big cards. Like I said, I've got maybe two... XL decks. I like the XL decks. I think they're really cool. So I hope Lascar Barrow or someone will come up with their own line of super big cards. Or let's say twice the size of a tarot card. So maybe something that's about like that. And maybe another 
you know, I would say 50% more card width and height would be perfect for my hands because I have monster hands, so I can shuffle uh, a pretty enormous deck. So anyway, I don't want to bore everyone to death, but uh, I thought it was worth it to do a video. This is a very interesting read that I'm doing right now, too. It's revealing a lot to me. Um, by doing this, I'm also documenting the reading itself, so I can go back and look at this video and say... What was my last reading? Which is probably something I need to start doing because my tarot readings are very private. I only read for maybe five different people that I know. Uh, I don't read for too many other people. So uh, if you would like a reading, you do not have to pay me. I will gladly, upon request, do a video similar to this, probably with my charged cards and um, pendulum and we can do a general spread and find out what some of your questions are. It's good for me to try to learn how to tap into other people's energy via the tarot because it's something that I'm trying to work on to build up my gifts. So anyway, guys, thank you for your patronage. Thank you for uh, everything. And once again, I want to say a big shout out to, uh, Carrie and demonic angels so that they once again know how important this is. We've gotten a lot of good information lately about the case of our missing brother here. So things are working out great and it's because of their help that I think that this case is coming along. So dark blessings, my friends get the deck. It's not a bad one.